All right, so we're in section 3.3 of Al Grosch's book, Developmental Math 2, Graphing Linear Equations Using Intercepts. So in the last section, we learned how to graph linear equations using a table of solutions. So if you need to go back and review that, that will be uh, the video for section 3.2. Uh, this time we're going to learn a different method to graph linear equations using the intercepts. The intercepts are the points at which a line crosses the x and y axis. The x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. To find each of these points, you make one of the corresponding coordinates zero. So if you're looking for the x-intercept, you will make y zero. If you need to find the y-intercept, you can make x zero. And that will give you the intercepts or two points at which you can uh, connect the dots and make a line. So we're going to try it on this equation. The equation says 2x minus 3y equals 6. So find the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we make y 0. So we're going to make y 0. And then we're going to substitute that into the equation for y. So that's going to give us 2x minus 3 times 0 equals 6. And of course, 3 times 0 is 0, so we don't need that term anymore. It's just a value of 0. So 2x equals 6. To solve for x, we divide by 2. So x equals 3. And that would be the x-coordinate of the x-intercept. So that gives us an ordered pair, 3, 0. To find the y-intercept, we will substitute the 0 for x. So we're going to put 0 in for x this time. And again, using the same equation, we'll now substitute the 0 in for x. And we're going to do that down here. So we have 2 times 0 minus 3y equals 6. 2 times 0 is 0, so that term has no value. So negative 3y equals 6. Divide by negative 3 to solve for y we get y equals negative 2. And that's another ordered pair. So 0, negative 2. So now we have the two intercepts. We have the x-intercept, which we found by substituting 0 for y, and the y-intercept, which we substituted 0 for x, and that gave us these two ordered pairs. We're going to put them on the graph here and uh, connect the dots to make the line. So we probably need to enlarge this graph a little bit. And now I can't see what my intercepts are. So the x-intercept was 3, 0. So we'll put a point at 3, 0. That would be right here. And the y-intercept was <laughs> 0, negative 2. So we'll put that here. Those are the intercepts for this equation. So we can connect the dots. And don't forget your arrows. So that's how you, find, you graph a line find, by finding the intercepts. All right, on the next page, we have a couple more examples where we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to graph the given equation using the intercepts. And here's the equation, 3x equals negative 5y plus 8. So to find the x-intercept, we substitute 0 for y. So that's going to give us an equation of 3x equals negative 5 times 0 plus 8. All I did was substitute that 0 for y into this equation, and this is what it turns into. And again, 5 times 0 is 0. So what we really have is 3x equals 8 to solve for x, divide by 3. And that does give us a fraction, 8 thirds. It's okay, though, because we can figure that out when we get ready to graph it by turning it into a mixed number. So the ordered pair is 8 thirds, 0. To find the y-intercept, we will substitute 0 for x. And again, we're going to put that 0 in for x into this same equation. So 3 times 0 equals negative 5y plus 8. 3 times 0 is 0. This time I don't want to get rid of this term since it's the only term that's on the left side of the equation. I'm going to keep it as a 0 there so I don't end up being confused. All right, we're trying to solve for this y here. So we need to subtract this 8 first. So 
subtract 8. That gives us negative 8 equals negative 5y. And then divide by negative 5 to isolate the y. And that turns this fraction, negative 8 fifths, into a positive because negative divided by negative is positive. So we have positive 8 fifths. So that's the second intercept, 0, 8 fifths. All right, to graph those, we're going to probably need to enlarge this graph so that we can see a little bit better. All right, the x-intercept is 8 thirds, 0. Well, 8 thirds translated to a mixed number is 2 and 2 thirds. So the x-intercept is 8 thirds, 0, or 2 and 2 thirds, 0. So we're going to go 1, 2, 2 and 2 thirds is here between 2 and 3. So this is where the x-intercept will be, right there on the x-axis between 2 and 3. The y-intercept was 0, 8 fifths. Well, when we turn the 8 fifths to a mixed number, we get 1 and 3 fifths. So that's the y-intercept, 0, 1, and 3 fifths. And that's going to be between, uh, I'm sorry, positive 1 up here, 1 and 3 fifths. So that's going to be like right up here. And this is where we're going to connect the dots. It's always nice if you actually hit the dots, though. And that's the equation of our line. So I think we have another example here on this page. Graph the given equation using intercepts. So here we have y equals negative 3x plus 6. So to find the x-intercept, we make y 0. And so we will substitute that 0 into the equation for y. And that's going to give us 0 equals negative 3x plus 6. So to solve for this x, we have to first subtract 6 from both sides. When we do that, that will, we'll have negative 6 equals negative 3x. Divide by negative 3, we get x equals 2. So this is the x-intercept, 2, 0. To find the y-intercept, we're going to substitute 0 for x. And then we'll substitute that into the equation for x. So y equals negative 3 times 0 plus 6. Negative 3 times 0 is 0, so y equals 6. And this is the y-intercept. Okay, we need to graph them. So we're going to go to the graph. Let's enlarge it a little bit. All right, the x-intercept was 2, 0. So that will be right here. And the y-intercept was 0, 6. So that will be up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'll be right up here. And we will connect the dots. Whoa. Not like that. It would be best to use a a straight edge to connect the dots, but it's kind of hard on this tablet to use a straight edge there. That's better. 